my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so 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 much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today you can see there's a little something missing there off of the counter behind me it would be this infamous now infamous red lantern from Kirkland's Oh my goodness, it is a beautiful lantern. I kid you not, but do not try to order this from Kirkland's online. I think they still have it, but please don't order it because so many folks have ordered this after seeing it here and it comes broken, you guys. For some reason, Kirkland's can't seem to pack this one right. And I will say that it does, the glass, I guess maybe the way it's made, it's not in the lantern extremely tightly. So, but this is what I'm gonna be working on today. I'm gonna be working on a funky bow topper, a fall funky bow topper for this. And if you guys will remember, I wanted to show this too, what Stacy made, made me with her Cricut. Then sings my soul. I just love that. So I don't wanna make any kind of swag or anything like that that's gonna cover that prettiness up. So it's just gonna be a bow topper. Plus it sits right here next to my stove. And when I get that back burner going, I do move it. But you know, a lot of times we cook with the center burner burner and I don't want anything kind of flailing around out there to catch on fire. We don't need that. So just a big bow topper and I do have some things to, to stick in it, you know, and we'll try to make it a little prettier than it just being a bow. This might be a really good video for a beginner funky bow maker, especially, or a funky bow topper maker. You know, this one is not going to be difficult to make at all. I, I promise you. So, but anyway, I guess that's it for this. My headache is better for those of you who saw me on Monday's, in Monday's video. I had a terrible migraine and really struggled, to be honest with you, getting through that day. But I wanted to get that fall tree done and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, and thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments on that. You guys just, you guys are awesome. You just are, fill my heart every day, every, every, every day. But anyway, Okay, before I start blithering and blubbering, let's turn this camera around and get started on this fall funky bow topper for this pretty red lantern that can't hold together when it's shipped from Kirkland's. <laughs> Be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back and I've gathered a bunch of stuff just in the reds and a little bit of a touch of orange in some things, but mostly reds. You know, because I want the, the burlap color kind of to speak for itself and I really don't want to add that with the, in the bow. So what I'm going to do is just put some of these little berries down and around in this candle holder. And this is what I had in there before and it's just a simple candle holder from, uh, I think I got that from Hobby Lobby. And then this is my beautiful really old <laughs> battery operated candle. I don't even know where the bottom of it is anymore. It is simply an on off switch. I keep it on all the time, but it's like the Energizer Bunny. It just keeps going and going and going. So I'm not gonna complain about that. So I just simply put that right down in there. And then I'm gonna cut up some of these. I have some already cut up in here. Some of these little red berries. I got these from they come in a stalk like this, you guys. It's very full, but it's like $10 a stalk, and it's from my country store here, Dottie's Den here in town. And she does not have a website. I don't know whether you could find these online anywhere or not. I've never really looked for them. But I use them everywhere, all the time, for many different projects at many different times of the year. So let's see what I come up with here. 
Doesn't have to be anything over the top. I just want a little something, something inside. And these really mimic uh, these a good bit. So I do want to use them. Actually, these are a little different, aren't they? Look at those. They're, they actually really do mimic that. These are what I'm using and have come off the stalk. Sorry. Let's get these out of the way. We'll confuse each other here. All right. Again, I don't want to glue these in or anything because I very well will probably use them again for another project. So I just, I never open this up once I have it sitting on the counter. So I'm just really just trying to fill in around it to give it some interest inside. Very simple. That'll about do it. I don't think I'm gonna need to cut any more. And then when I go to redo this for Christmas, who knows what I'll do with it. Whether I'll leave these in for Christmas or switch them out for something else, I don't know. But that will do it, I think. Obviously, I pulled this off of something else somewhere along the line. It has a hot glue gun string on it. All right, so I think that'll be cute. And I'm just simply gonna snug it right in, hopefully. Cute as a button. Easy peasy. Okie dokie. I may use some of these, but I think I'll probably switch to those for up in the bow. All right, next up, we're gonna make our funky bow. These are the things that I have laying here to put up into the bow though. I'm gonna have my glue gun plugged in. And then I've got these pumpkins two. I might try to put one or two of those in. So let's move this off and let's cut up some ribbon. Now <clears throat> I'm going to make a 20, no I'm not going to make a 20 loop. <laughs> I'm going to make a 16 loop funky bow. Uh, but again I don't have a fourth type of ribbon that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut two more of each of these. This happy fall, y'all, I'm hoping that this is gonna work out. I'm gonna cut them all at 26 inches. You can see that the happy fall, you all, is almost centered on there. Hopefully, that will be, well, look, I think it might work out how it's gonna be they knew I was gonna make a funky bow out of this, the manufacturers of this ribbon. <laughs> so they made it perfect for me. Look at this, oh my goodness. Well, that one's a little bit, a little bit off, but I'm not gonna complain. It's still pretty much centered, you know, when I put it together. Actually, I might save that for something else. Let's see here. Try to get it centered a little bit. I have a tiny bit of waste, but that's okay. That's pretty close. Three and four. I won't do any more than four of this. Look, that one worked out pretty well. I'm gonna just go a little further. Okay, 
There we go. Four of those. Isn't that the cutest ribbon? And I will use this for something else. Y'all know I will. So let me go ahead and dovetail. It's not perfectly centered on all of them, but I think that the happy fall you all will be up in the loop of the bow, up in the loops, and that's what I'm, I wanted to happen. Let me go ahead and dovetail the ribbon. I fold the ribbon in half, and I go to the edge and cut up. Most people go to the fold and cut down. I have always done it the way I do it, so it's hard can't teach an old dog new tricks, you know? So I just continue to do the way I do, even if it is considered wrong by some. <laughs> Here we go. All right, now I'm gonna cut six of each of these. So I will be back when I'm done cutting these up and dovetailing. Alrighty, be right back. guys I'm back and I just cut one last piece of ribbon for that that's what I'm going to use to tie the bow onto the lantern with and I wanted to let you know where I got these ribbons two out of the three I got from AC Moore this is actually Americana this one and I picked it up you know during when I was doing my 4th of July patriotic decor and this one I picked up from AC Moore. So, unfortunately, I know some of you don't have an AC Moore in your area, and I feel really bad every time I mention them, but for those of you who do, you should probably be able to find this in AC Moore. So, and then this one, the Happy Fall, y'all, I got from craftoutlet.com and they have lovely ribbon but all right here we go let's make up this funky bow as I said I cut all of these ribbon strips at 26 inches long the reason I cut them at 26 inches is because I want to have eight inch tails on my bow so which means that if I go with 26 inches of ribbon, if I go to eight and then if I go to 18, that's 10 inches of ribbon right there. But I put that together to make a five inch loop, which then leaves me eight more for the other tail. In reality, all we need to do is fold it in half, go to our board, lay it out and find a five inch loop like that and as you can see this is one-sided ribbon and I do this whether the ribbon is one-sided or not or two-sided I always go to the back tail and twist it to bring the right side up the right side forward so to speak now as we work our way through this pattern I'm going to pick up one from each pile as I go and as I work my way through the pattern the first four times four loops through the pattern, I'm going to point the loop up from center, my thumb being center. And again, going back and twisting that back tail to bring the right side up. This pile, I have two of the, of the checks and I have two of the leaves. Let me see if I can push you back just a little bit. Okay, so this pile is gonna be different each time we go past it. Five inches for a loop. And go back and twist. And then the happy fall, y'all. And it's gonna look sideways or however it goes, and that's okay. We're gonna know what it says. And 
that happy fall you all is going to be able to be seen throughout the bow. See that? And again, even though this looks like double-sided ribbon down there, I still twist it. Okay, so that's the first time through the pattern of each ribbon through the pattern. Now, this next time through, I'm going to turn it and point the loop down from center, just like that, and twist. And we're gonna work our way all the way through the pattern, like this. Doesn't matter that there's two of these next to one another, trust me, it's okay. They won't end up next to one another. <laughs> and then we have another happy fall one. I am gonna turn this over so that at least the happy fall y'all is pointing in the right direction. In the same direction, not right direction, but in the same direction. See that. Okay, now, third time through, we're going to point the loop up as we add it. And again, go behind and twist. There we go. Now, one more time through the pattern, and we're going to point those that loop down from center. And I'll speed through the rest of this so we can get it done. Be right back. All righty. There we go. Now, get yourself a pipe cleaner. Go to about the center of the pipe cleaner. Lay it up over your, beside your thumb and pull it around to the back. And get these fingers up as close as you possibly can to the bow and twist the bow. I twist the bow and the pipe cleaners, but you can do it however you want. Whew. Yikes, my hand was sore on that one. And then of course, you know, what comes next. <laughs> I hope y'all are getting sick of seeing funky bows, but I just love them so much that I just continue to make them because they're just about my favorite bow to make. And it's all about the fluffing now, you know to make it as big and as pretty as you possibly can. Put your hand down in there and really fluff it. Okay, now the next thing I do is I find the center of this piece of ribbon, right side down, and I just tie it into the pipe cleaner in the back. I'm gonna leave that pipe cleaner long because I don't know whether I might wanna use it for something else. Okay, now let's lift this camera up and bring this lantern over and turn it. And we're gonna tie this funky bow on this lantern. 
by using the ribbon that I just put on it. I'm going to snug right down in that part of the lantern, in this little part. So I'm going to tie a square bow onto the back. So how I do that is I take the left strip of ribbon and I put it over the right and tuck it underneath. Then I'm going to pull it really tight, as tightly as I can, to pull this bow as close to the lantern as possible. And then I'm going to make a loop. And then I'm going to take the, out of the left side, take the right strip, put it over the left, just like you're making a bow, but I twist this. I twist this to bring the right side up as you bring it out the other side. Just fluff it out, pull it tight, and then I kind of make it pretty. And hear that glass in this lantern as I work with it here. dovetail each tail, just like that. There we go. And that's how that'll look. Pretty, huh? And sometimes these come around and mix in with it, which is absolutely wonderfully fine. So there we go. And I wouldn't have to do anything more to this except for fluff it up if I didn't want to, you know. But I want to do a little little something else with it. My so first thing I need to do is fluff. So I'm going to kind of turn it toward me. I'm going to try to bring you over my shoulder here. And we'll do some fluffing. doing a little bit of trimming of the tails here in the back just a little bit all righty we're getting there as you can see it does take quite a bit of fluffing sometimes to get it the way I like it to look anyway it just I just fluff, fluff, fluff for, I could do this all day, really. But you do come to a point where you have to stop. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Yes, I do. All right, now, I have a couple of these pumpkins. So I thought they might be cute. I'm gonna put my camera back up a little bit so you guys can see. But maybe just one. I'm thinking. And I want some leaves, I think. But not a ton. Just a little bit peeking out here and there. And I think I'm going to concentrate on pulling in more of the red 
than the orangey ones. See, I have some orange and some red. I'm gonna pick the reds off first, to see if that's enough. the flowers. Maybe there. I think I just like, I don't like the flowers, you guys. I think I just like the leaves. I want this to be simple. I don't want it to be crazy busy. And that about does all my dark reds for my leaves. So, and one more pumpkin down here to offset that one. And we'll call it done, I think, you guys. I like that. Unless I wanna put some of the little berries. Let me get this stuff glued into place first. Gun. Hopefully I won't knock my camera this time. <laughs> and all of this is being glued to the bow, of course, not to the lantern, because I want to be able to untie it and take it right off. quiet on you guys. Sorry. <sighs> that is a habit that I just cannot break being quiet when I'm creating like this.
Let me see these orange ones. <laughs> think that is going to do it you guys. I love it. I really do. Wow. I don't want to put too much more in. I, I like to see the touches of the happy fall even though we can't read it completely but like we can read the happy here and we can read the fall here and we really can't see y'all maybe down here a little bit but you know what that's okay. Just a hint. All right, you guys, that's it. I'll be back for some final words. So I told you this one was an easy one. This is a this would be a good one for a beginner, somebody who just wants to do a very simple funky bow swag or funky bow topper. You know, I, this is definitely not a swag. Swag is something when you have things coming out or up and down um, off both, you know, off of both sides. This is just a topper, you know, and it doesn't hide the, the then sings my soul. Hey everyone, I'm back <laughs> with the finished lantern and I am, guess what? I'm super happy <laughs> with how this worked out. Honest to goodness, this is exactly what I had envisioned, something that makes a statement, that makes a bold statement, but something that wasn't really difficult uh, and something that would pair beautifully with this red lantern. You know, I, I do a lot of cooking in my kitchen. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't do a lot of cooking in my kitchen anymore. We do cooking in the kitchen, especially around the holidays, you know, and this will take us up to our Christmas decor, you know, for when I change things out for Christmas. And then, you know, from now until then, I'm sure we'll have company in and out of here and I'm gonna be cooking at the stove. So therefore, I didn't want a swag, you know, that would be hanging down either side. This is easily picked up and moved if I wanna move it away from the cooktop, you know. Or for the cooking we do around here, we just cook right around it. It's not, not a problem at all. Cause this is no bigger than the patriotic bow I had on here before. So I'm super happy, super, super happy with how it worked out. It is so pretty. I'm gonna bring it up close to you so you can take a peek. If you see any glue strings, just excuse it. <laughs> It is even going, I'm kind of flowing back into that back bow too, you know? It looks really pretty. And you know, and then the, just the little touch of something, something inside, which is perfect, you know? It's just perfect for this. So it's super pretty, you guys. I'm just, I love the funky bow. What can I say? I know I do a ton of them. I just can't help it. I just love the effect of a funky bow. So let me put this, put down. this down while I say my final words here. 
you guys touch my heart every single day. I'm telling you, you do. And my heart is full when I go to tell you, when I go to say this last bit. Because I hear from so many of you who do struggle on a daily basis and who are suffering. And I am so sorry. And I hope that my little videos can help bring a little bit of a smile to your face and you know, hear me bumbling around over here, you know, can, can give you a chuckle, can make your day a little brighter, a little happier. I hope so. <laughs> and maybe teach you something along the way too. But let me just say that I hope that I truly hope and truly pray that there's no one out there suffering or struggling with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. Please know that I really do keep you all in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And I hope that there's nothing weighing on your mind or in your heart pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. And remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. And with that, I'll just say, until next time, I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, to bits. So until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.